we're gonna go into a yearly system of training for wrestlers, and we're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, it's Dave Miller from GarageStrength.com, and if this is your first time to the channel and you're interested in learning about strength training, you wanna be more explosive, you wanna take those gains from the weight room and apply it to your competitive field, make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you ring that notification bell so we can help you stand on top of the podium. So the wrestling season ends and everybody's a little bit, you know, you're sort of happy with how everything went, but you see those guys that are standing up on top of the podium. You see in the dudes getting their hands raised because they just won a national title. You're watching it on ESPN and you're dreaming about being in that moment. You start to think about how you wanna win a state title. You're a coach maybe, and you're thinking about how you wanna have that experience as a coach. You want your guys standing on top of the podium. You want to be the best coach in the state. You wanna be the best coach in the country. And you start to think about it. Your wheels start to turn. Look, I wanna to get to that top point. I wanna be the best. I wanna have the best athletes. I wanna be the best wrestler. I want that medal on top of my chest so that I can be an NCAA champion and continue to make progress so I can get to that next level. And so you've gotta to start to think about it. A lot of wrestling coaches lack that yearly plan. It's sort of like strength training doesn't exist in the world of wrestling and it's and it's completely separate even from endurance based training and it's completely separate from what nutrition is all about. And so what we have to do as strength coaches or as sports performance coaches along with those skilled wrestling coaches is start to talk about what's the yearly plan we've got to go into those elements behind wrestling you know you have to have some absolute strength or some relative strength depending upon your weight class you've got to have dynamic reactiveness so you've got to be able to scramble very rapidly you've got to be able to set up your shots and react quickly to what your opponent is doing we also know that you have to have really good grip strength right grip strength is key to being a dominant wrestler and then finally you've got to have really good strength endurance you've got to have that endurance so that you can win in the third period you can win in overtime so you've got to start to factor in all of these little things that go into developing as a wrestler. And so we're going to go over all of these little aspects and we've got to break it down immediately into periods of the year. So if we can start to think about, we're just getting off the NCAA championships, Pennsylvania state championships here, or whatever your state is, you're likely going to have to peak in February or March. Okay. So wrestlers have to peak in February or March. So the whole goal during this peak period, is that you are in the best shape with all elements. Your strength is as good as it can possibly be relative to your dynamic reactiveness, relative to your grip strength, relative to your strength endurance. At this point, we need to have that explosive reactiveness. We've gotta have endurance. And from a nutritional perspective, we very likely have to be in a slight deficit if we're cutting weight. Now, if we're a heavier guy, we can be eating a lot more protein. We can be eating a lot more carbohydrates and we're gonna be perfectly fine. We're gonna feel good and explosive getting onto the mat, but we've gotta make sure that when we're peaking, we're laying out. All right, during this block, okay? During this block, the peak block, we're gonna be focusing on a lot of really precise technical work in the room. We're, in turn, we're gonna be focusing on really good reactiveness, good endurance. We don't have to beat our guys up, just nice steady state stuff. And then we're gonna be in a slight nutritional deficit. And that's going to be a key component behind peaking really well. We don't want our wrestlers beat up. We don't want them feeling like crap when they're going into some of the biggest matches of their lives. We want them to feel fresh. We want them to feel strong. We want them to feel confident mentally. So they've got to be eating pretty well so that they can sleep pretty well so that they can recover from each training session. Now the season ends and we're all motivated. Everybody's watching ESPN. Everybody's seeing Penn State's got four national champs. We want to be the next Penn State. We want to be the next Iowa. We see all these dominating performances. We see Ferrari's got, you know, Mr. Fast Twitch has this huge deadlift. We want to be as strong as him. We start to have all these thoughts go through our minds, but we don't know where to go. We have no idea where to start. So what I recommend doing is sitting there saying, all right, block one, April and May, let's focus on just getting back in shape. So this period, April, May, this is a really good time frame to really build that base. And we've got our Adonis bodybuilding for wrestling program. This is a really good time to hit that Adonis based program from a nutritional perspective. Okay. Get a lot of protein up your protein like crazy. Get those carbs high. Stop worrying about the weight class you're going to be in. Don't worry about where everybody else is. 
Worry about your effort this off season. Worry about yourself, worry about your own personal training and what you're gonna be doing in the weight room and what you're gonna be doing on the mat. Worry about getting into the room, working on those little intricate details, but take care of yourself in the weight room and stop worrying about everybody else. Your weight will go wherever it goes. Just don't get too sloppy fat. Focus on those lean gains during this time while you're still doing that work and your weight will go wherever it goes. And then as we get closer to the season, we can be more precise about that weight class. But again, absolute strength bodybuilding right after the season, you can start to build back up Adonis bodybuilding for wrestling program. We've got that at garagestrength.com. Block two, May, June. Okay. Now we're going to be focusing on absolute strength. And I, le I left this blank. I like to have in here, you could be focusing on that relative strength as well. You can be focusing on your reactiveness if you're a little bit weaker. If you're not as explosive as some of these guys that are the top dogs, you can start to bring in some, some more stuff that's gonna make you a little bit more explosive. So plyometric work. We've got the BLAST program at this period. That might be a really good program. The BLAST program is gonna help you be a little bit more explosive. A lot of wrestlers aren't those freak athletes. They're not, they're not like the wide receivers or the running backs that we see that have 40 inch verticals. But this is a time frame, May and June, that you can start to really build that absolute strength so your squats go up, your benches go up, your cleans go up, and then we start to work around with some explosive jumps. So blast program during May and June, that's a really good period. Here, high protein, high carbs. Again, don't worry about where your weight is at. Block three, July, August. Now we're getting a little closer to the season. July and August, we've got some summer tournaments. And the big key here, if you're a wrestler, stop worrying about the results of those summer tournaments. Yes, you need to get on the mat. Yes, you need to wrestle. Yes, you need to do freestyle work, Greco work, whatever it is that you're doing. You've got to get into that stuff. You've got to focus on that technical aspect, but don't put so much weight on it yet. Focus on your strength work, focus on your plyometric work, focus on your mental capability, focus on recovery. Start to take note of how you feel with certain foods. Focus on your nutrition in the off season so that when you get into the in season, when it really, really matters from a collegiate or a high school perspective, well, now you know what's gonna have a positive or a negative impact on you. Okay, so again, high protein, high carbs. Now, July, August, absolute strength reactiveness again blast program reactiveness this is a key component here right here high protein high carbs when we're gaining strength and when we're getting larger okay when we have greater growth in our muscles if we have a bigger engine if we have larger muscles we can put out more force but we have to train it that way so we need to get stronger we need to get our weights up in the weight room but at the same time we need to train our nervous system how to recruit very rapidly if we can coordinate very rapidly, we will be dominant on the mat. So it's important during these months to continue to build strength, but really focus on that reactiveness as well. Now, September, October, we're starting to get closer to the season. When we're starting to get closer into the season, we need to bring in some, a little bit of light endurance, okay? Reactiveness is key. When I'm talking about this too, I wanna go over this real quick. If I'm saying light endurance, I mean get on the assault bike, do 30 minutes of an easy ride. Doesn't need to be crazy. It's so easy to build cardio. It's very easy. Just steady state, easy. When we're recovering throughout the entire year as wrestlers, it's also key, go into the sauna. The sauna can actually help with your strength endurance without actually doing anything. It's gonna help you recover and look up Heat Shock Protein 70. This protein is going to help you recover and improve your strength endurance. This is released and caused by high heat training in the sauna, okay? You can just sit in the sauna and your endurance can actually improve. You're gonna recover as well. Now, this is when we gotta start focusing on maintaining our caloric intake. We don't need to be super high. We wanna start to see, all right, let's, let's maintain this now. Let's see where we're at. We're gonna in, introduce some light endurance-based training. We're gonna do some, some reactive work. We wanna see where our body weight goes during September and October. Now, before I get into block five and block six, the reason why I'm putting this out here is that I dream, I love seeing wrestlers get to the top of their game. I love seeing Pete Renner, one of my guys, get third at NCAAs, be a state champ. I love seeing Josh Orgio, another guy who got second at states in Pennsylvania. I love seeing Nick Gwizdowski win two NCAA titles and two world bronze medals. That's the stuff 
I love, I love being a part of the journey and that experience. And so what we're gonna do now at Garage Strength is for the first month of this program, the first month of every year after the season, we're gonna give you a full free month of wrestling based training. So you can head over to garagestrength.com, click on the link down below. You can head over and you can pick up your free monthly subscription. So what we do is we put together an entire 12 month program that is based around this model, okay? We take this model and we put it together every single month so you know exactly what you need to do. And that first month is gonna be free. You can click on the link, head over to garagestrength.com, put in your credit card details, and you can pick up that first month for free. And we lay out all of this stuff to help you achieve those goals so that when it comes time to peak, you're standing on top of the podium, not your opponent. Now back to block five. Block five is when we're starting to get into November, December. What do we wanna focus on? Now we're, we're starting to get into a little bit more serious wrestling, pretty serious now. We have a lot of high volume work on the mat, so we need to recognize that your strength is not really going to increase during this period. The whole goal now is to maintain, we wanna be really reactive, we wanna keep building that engine for endurance. So it's really just gonna be focused on a slight deficit from the nutritional perspective. If we're lighter weight, if we're heavy, we don't have to worry about that. But here with strength and the reactiveness, now it's about maintaining and just honing in on wherever our weaknesses are. So the beginning part of the season, November, December, this is like that experimental part. Now we're starting to get into a lot of volume. Now we're starting to do a lot of mat work. What happens in the wrestling room with certain lifts, okay? Throughout this period, we're typically going to train four days a week. As we start to get to the in-season part in November, December, now we've got to cut it back to three days. Or maybe it's three days in a light bodybuilding program. And this is the stuff that we even have, if you don't want to pick up our subscription model, you can pick up our in-season wrestling and this is going to help you during that period. And even back here in September, same thing. We've got a pre-season wrestling and that's going to help you as well. But I would recommend picking up our subscription because we walk you through step by step, month by month. Finally, we're gonna get to block six, January, February. I believe this is the key component. This is the glue that brings all of this together to create this peak, okay? And when I'm talking about a peak, I'm talking about getting on the mat, knowing confidently you're stronger, you have better grip, you, you are more explosive, you have better endurance. I'm going to smash my opponent because I've taken the time throughout the last 12 months to improve my absolute strength, to gain a little bit of muscle mass, to enhance my endurance, to focus on my nutrition so that I know exactly what impacts me from a positive perspective so that I have that energy here to transfer to here. And so this is that transition block, block six. We've gotta focus on each individual wrestler and what they need the most, okay? If they need to be a little bit more explosive, let's build that explosiveness. If they need a little more endurance, Let's do a little bit more steady state. Make sure they get to the sauna four or five days a week. Let's do a little bit of high interval stuff and back off a little bit on the weights, okay? If, they, if their endurance is really struggling. Now, if they're pathetically weak, but they've got really good endurance, hit the weights a little bit more. Hit the weights a little bit more during this period if they're terribly weak, and then that's gonna transition into here of them being reactive and still maintaining their endurance. So that's a really key component during block six. And then now block six ends, we're in a, a slight caloric deficit if we're talking about those lighter weight guys. Block six ends, now we're getting to that peak. So February can sort of transfer over between that block six and that peak period. And that is how you've got to lay out a blueprint for a full year of training. And you got to sit down with your wrestling coach. How are we periodizing each and every step? Because you, want to be that state champ. You want to be that NCAA champ, or if you're a coach, you've got to push your strength coach to put this stuff together because you want to become a champion. So if you want help with this, head over to garagestrength.com. You can pick up our yearly subscription plan every single month. You will get a new program that fits into this model. If you want more content about wrestling, click on this card right here. Until next time, guys, I'll see you on top of the podium. Peace.